the Najaf to Karbala walk. Imam Jafar Sadiq salam said, Allah will write a good deed for the one who leaves his house to perform the ziyarat of Imam Hussain salam on foot and erase a sin from him for every step he takes. Are you lucky enough to go for Arba'in this year? Here's a few steps to help you prepare yourself for the Najaf to Karbala walk. Arrange your accommodation in Iraq before your arrival, as hotels will be scarce, especially in Karbala. Bring with you a portable charger and a travel adapter. Activate mobile roaming services or take a second phone with a longer battery life, which you can use with an Iraqi SIM card. The country calling code for Iraq is 00964. Use a small backpack and pack essentials only. Although first aid equipment is available, services tend to be very crowded, so it is advisable to bring your own medical supplies, towels, sleeping clothes, cotton socks, toothbrush and paste, hairbrush and personal clothing. Wear comfortable walking trainers and avoid new or tight-fitting shoes. The walk takes place from the holy city of Najaf to the blessed land of Karbala. The distance from Najaf to Karbala is 80 kilometers. The route is marked by numbers on electricity poles. There are 1,452 poles in total. The distance between each pole is 50 meters. 20 poles equals 1 kilometer. It takes about two to three days to complete the whole walk. When traveling with babies or young children, use a strong and lightweight pushchair, a baby sling or infant carrier, take food or milk only if your child is fussy with food, consult in advance which medicines might be necessary to take for your child, take enough nappies, appropriate clothing for outdoors and a blanket. Walking together in a group is advisable. Always set a meeting point with your group members in case someone gets lost. Do not rely on texts and calls to find people as mobile connectivity is poor. Every hour take a short rest and then resume the walk. Be careful not to leave your belongings unattended, especially your passport and money. It is advisable to start walking daily after Fajr and to finish before Maghrib. This ensures that you find a place in a mokib that night to rest. Don't worry about taking food with you, as plenty of food and drinks are served along the way at all times for free by the people of Iraq who look forward to serving the guests of Imam Hussein salam. On your special journey towards the Imam, try to avoid unnecessary talk about worldly affairs. This is a great time to reflect on yourself and how you want to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is advisable to constantly be in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, keep doing zikr and recite du'as. Remember to be patient as the situation is different from the comfort of your own home. Always remember that everyone is here because the Imam has invited them, so respect each other as we are all the guests of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Arrival in Karbala When you approach Karbala, you will have to pass through several checkpoints. Please be patient as the queues will be very long. Respect the rules and requests as they are set out for your own safety. Everyone including children and the elderly need to carry a name card with your details. When you arrive in Karbala, it is useful to have a printed copy of your hotel address in Arabic. This will make it easier to ask local people for directions. If you get lost and lose sight of your family and friends, then approach the lost and missing centre where they will be able to assist you. We at Safir TV pray for your safety and that your ziyara will be accepted, inshallah.